Lots of people and over 100 babies are counting and depending on you. We know we left them all in good hands. Thank you and we're proud of you. So Lester and Jamie wrote me a letter <clears throat> before they left and now I'm going to read this before I go down there for feed time this afternoon. Here we go. <clears throat> we all know how I do with letters. Not very well. Jake, we are off again, but this time I will be honest and admit that my heart and mind are at peace where the last time we traveled, I was a nervous wreck. For as much as you helped me and Jamie with these daily chores, you have also learned so much more than just how to keep water clean and full. That's true. That's very true. You have learned all the unique characteristics of all the babies, both bigs and littles, and you know exactly what each of them need in order to be safe, healthy, and happy. You have watched me work and learned the routine that babies need and you know how to and you know how to troubleshoot when you run into trouble. You go about your work with a smile on your face and with a happy heart, which all the babies know is sincere and real. They love you and they trust you, so do me and Jamie. Please care for our place while we are gone and if some reason we never return Try with all you got to continue the beautiful blessing we're building here, making sure to share the journey and adventures, good, bad, and the ugly, with all who share our love and sense of belonging in social media. I don't know why letters get me like this. Because, I guess because, like, you always want everyone to come back home safe from wherever they're going or where, whatever they're doing. But in reality... In reality, this piece of paper could be all that, all that I would ever have. And that's hard. That's hard because it's like a slap of reality right in your face. Just to have the trust and, and the faith in you that they know that everything's going to be okay is a really big blessing. And that makes me feel good to know that I'm thought of that way and there are a lot of people out there that and I get the messages and stuff that like depend on these videos and Lester showed me a video the other day um he had made a video for a for an older lady and she was sitting in her chair telling her granddaughter about the video this video cameo that I made for a very kind lady it ended up being well I will just I'll let you let watch you for yourself. For yourself. And, uh, and uh, this, this is, is why we can't <laughs> do more <laughs> video cameos around, around here. here. So y'all so enjoy. enjoy. Oh no. <laughs> that my 80 year old mom, Linda, is a huge fan of yours. She has health and mobility issues. She watches you guys <laughs> daily on her phone and you bring her lots of joy. She laughs and tries to recount the stories that she sees. Uh, she what? appreciates our oh. big hearts and our humor and all the good you're doing in all the different levels. And then she asked uh, if we have any merch that she can buy for her mom for Christmas. And so I'm going to surprise her mom with something even better than merch. Oh boy. I'm gonna make her a cameo video. Oh my goodness. Hey Linda, Lester here. And from what I understand, you're a big fan of Oh, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Come on, little. <laughs> Come on, little. Let's go. Come on, baby. I can't believe this. <laughs> you gotta tell Linda hello. <laughs> <laughs> and from what I understand, you have a place in your heart for Carl and a few of our other babies. I want you to know that we really appreciate that. You know, Carl doesn't get a whole lot of love from many people. So every once in a while when someone reaches out and lets us know that he's one of their favorite, I can't help but have to try to find a way to say thank you. Carl, come say hi to Linda. Give me a second here, Linda. Carl, can you say hi to Linda? Linda Chambers, she really likes you. Finish your beautiful bird. He's going to show off his feathers a little bit for you. Oh, look at that, Linda. Look at the strut. Isn't that beautiful? Annie, Ernie, 
I'm making the video for Linda. His teeth are his I'm trying to wish her a very Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays, New Year, all the works. And I know there's oh no God, one else who she'd rather say hi to and wish her that than you. Ringo, I'm trying to make a video for Linda. Now settle down, Ringo. I'm making the video. It's for Linda. It's not about you. She doesn't like. She doesn't like you. Now move. She doesn't like you, Ringo. Ouch. Linda doesn't. Linda does not like you. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Well, Lester did this. This was his idea for you. <laughs> You want to tell them how you felt about the video? <laughs> I'm practically speechless, except I never am either. Lester. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the ultimate Christmas gift. <laughs> and I hope you didn't get bruised, bruised up while making it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, thanks so much. You're a big fan, this right? Oh, yes. Well, family. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I'm uh, very, very shocked. <laughs> to put it mildly, I can't even... There are no... There's no way to express it. Thank you. Thanks so, so much. Oh, we want you to have a Merry Christmas, too, with your family. And a Happy New Year. Thanks for for giving me the chance to, to give mama this awesome surprise. Yeah. Hi, this is Nicole. I'm Linda's daughter. I'm the one who wrote in and I'm just thrilled. I can't believe that Lester, you actually answered and then you put this all together for her. It's been a thrilling morning. Uh, first thing off, I heard screams out of her bedroom as she had looked um, and seen the video on Facebook. And then ever since then, we've just been trying to convince her that it was actually you and that it is on YouTube and it is on Facebook and uh, just tons of laughter. Um, she's been crying. She's just feeling very loved. I'm like the queen of Christmas right now. There's nothing I can do that, that I can do wrong. I've outshined everyone else in the whole family with this great surprise that actually you put together. Um, thank you, thank you for doing what you do and brightening her day every day. And I love, I love your stuff too. All of us do. Um, the whole family thanks you for making Linda's birthday, her 80th birthday, and giving her such a wonderful Christmas surprise. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas too. And just how she was explaining in detail every animal, um, just different little events that had happened and stuff, and. It made me realize that it's more than just getting up and making a video for some dollars. It's about getting up and making a video because it means so much <clears throat> to a lot of people out there. And that makes me happy to know that every day people look forward to getting on their computer and going to YouTube.com and watching I'm a Survivor or Shirtless Jake or Suits to Boots or... Papa or Ellie or Bree, any of our channels, so it really makes you to work a lot harder at, at making videos. <sighs> Jamie and I are traveling and we spent time today on the road watching two reaction videos, watching the Jake reaction video, which just broke our hearts, and then watching the Linda reaction video, just that just toppled on top of that. And we just wanted to say, and I'll let Jamie speak for herself, but I just want to say what a blessing it is to see Jake mature so much into finding such profound words that he used in describing the deeper meaning behind I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. And I'll say this, what started out as making videos of animal antics has evolved into something so much deeper and so much bigger. I mean, we have a family, a, a massive family who connect with all of our farm animals and with us. And, and it's all based on being a survivor. And I think that's one of the greatest things is that we really are all survivors. And something. I love the way that um, Nicole, Lisa's daughter, said you're a big fan and she goes, and she corrected her and says, nope, I'm family. I'm gonna cry right now. <laughs> We're very blessed, y'all. Thank y'all for for making us who we are. Because without you guys, then we would just be a another <laughs> dumb farmer and his wife trying to manage, make it through the day. <laughs> manage a few animals. <laughs> All right, thank y'all, folks, and thank you, Jacob, and um, thank you, Miss Linda.